Let's do some math for fun and never leave many of you guys in the video. But number five, one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus da da da, it's equal to negative one over twelve. It's a crazy result, isn't it? And now I have this for you guys. This is just as cool as that one. We have 0 0.01 plus 0 0.002 plus 0 0.0003 plus 0 0.00004 and so on forever. Okay, how can we add this up, right? I will show you guys two ways. The first way is I would like to work with fractions instead of decimal. And then after I finish with this, I will show you guys how we can add these decimals up, right? So if you would like, we can write this down as a summation notation. So the sum when n starts with 1, because I chose that to be so, right? n is equal to 1. And because it keeps on going forever, so this is going to infinity. On the numerator, we'll be just having the n. Over on the denominator, we can just look at this as 10 to the n plus 1 power, right? So we have this now. Okay, so this is pretty cool. You see right here, this is almost like a geometry series, but this is not a geometry series because we have the n on the top. And to take care of this right here, what we are going to do is, we are going to start with the geometry series that we know much better, aka our best friend. So we know the sum when n goes from 0, the best friend right here, n goes from 0, okay, to infinity, x to the nth power, this is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. This is true if the absolute value of x is less than 1, okay? And you see, this is what we have on the left-hand side for the best friend. I want to have the n on the top. This is where the n is. I hope to bring the n to the front. That's a calculus operation. We can just differentiate, right? Okay, so this is exactly the same step as what I was doing in the previous video. So be sure you check that out as well. So this is going to give us the series where n goes from 1. Remember, when you differentiate the best friend, we lose the first term because the best friend here, the first term was 1. You differentiate 1, you get 0. So this is what we have, n start with 1. And then to infinity, and then we will have the n in the front, and then this is x to the n minus 1 power. And on the right-hand side, when you differentiate this guy, you get 1 over 1 minus x in the parentheses to the second power. This is still true as long as you plug in like x is good numbers the radius convergence is still equal to 1, okay? Well, right here, you see, this is what we have. We have the 10 in the denominator. This is the x. I can plug in a good number for x. Well, what's a good number to plug in? Let's plug in 1 over 10. How is that? So that we will have 10 to the some power in the denominator to see it, right? Okay, so on the left-hand side, we have the series when n goes from 1 to infinity. n will be on the top over, well, because I plug in 1 over 10 into this x, 1 over 10 in the parentheses to the n minus 1 power, you can just have the 10 in the denominator and then raised to the n minus 1 power like that, right? And now this is equal to plugging 1 over 10 into here as well, 1 over parentheses 1 minus 1 over 10, and then square that guy, right? Okay, we can totally work this out, and this is what we have. And let me actually just work it out first. n goes from 1 to infinity, this is n over 10 to the n minus 1 power. And let's do this in our head, just like in the previous video. 1 minus 1 over 10 is 9 over 10. 9 over 10 squared is 81 over 100. And we do the reciprocal of that, it's 100 on the top now over 81, right? However, this is not what we have right here because the power here is n plus 1. This right here is n minus 1. So what should I do? Well, I need to have two more powers right here, right? In the denominator. In another word, we can just multiply both sides by 1 over 100. How is this? Because 1 over 100, this is the same as 10 to the second power in the denominator. So you have 10 to a second times 10 to the m minus 1. You add the exponents together. All in all, you get the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, n on the top over 10. 2 plus n minus 1 is just n plus 1, and that's exactly what we want. And you know this and that cancel each other out nicely. So the answer is just 1 over 81. Ladies and gentlemen, 0 0.01 plus 0 0.002 plus 0 and so on forever.
This is equal to 1 over 81. And this is, I think, much more believable and much more legitimate than the negative 1 over 12, right? Anyway, this is still pretty cool because we still have the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on, and so on, right? Okay, so now, as you can see, this is the fractional answer. We'll also take a look of the decimal answer. So maybe some of you guys were thinking earlier, why didn't we just add the decimals up together? And I will show you, okay? So let's check this out. First of all, we have 0 0.01, right? And when you do this plus that, if you line up with a decimal point, you see this and that, so the one will be going right here, right? So we have 0, 1, and then 2, right? And then when you add this together, it will be 3 right here, because you see this right here of 3 zeros, which is going to be right here, right? And likewise, with the next one is going to be a 4. And the next one is going to be 5. Pretty cool, right? If you just ignore the first zero right here, then you have all the digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For now, seems like it, right? And the next one, of course, is going to be 6. No problem on that. What's the next one? Of course, we can all count. 7, right? And um, what's the next one? 8, maybe? Okay, let's put on 8. I think many of you guys will tell me to put on 8, or let me put on 8 for you. How about next one? Okay, 9. I hear a knife on you guys. Okay, I'll put a knife for you guys. And now, what's next? Well, you see, all this right here, they are pretty much all the digits, right? 0, 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4, and so on, so on, so on. We have 9, and then 10, and then 11, and so on. But, in order for me to put down the next digit, I only have one spot. The number after 9 is 10, but I only have one spot. How can I put down 10 in one spot? Technically, I have to carry over, isn't it? So I have to do like this, 1, 0 for the 10, right? And you see, when I have this 1 plus this 9, what happens? Well, once again, I have to carry over, isn't it? So it becomes 1 and 0, so this is like that. So, in fact, that's where the 10 is, and then you know the next one is going to be 11, similar style, right? 11. And the next one is 12, like this, and then 13, like that, and so on forever. Okay, now let's add them up again. This is 0, and this is point. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the next number is actually going to be 1 plus 8, which is 9, right? What's next? It's just this 0, right? Because we did the 1 plus 9, which is the 10 in blue already. So we will have this 0 here. What's next? 1 plus 0, which is 1. And then 1 plus 1, which is 2. And then 1 plus 2, which is 3. And then you know, I just didn't put this down, which will have a 1 and a 4. So it's actually a 4 right here, right? OK, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4. And the next one is 5. And then 6. And then 7. And then there's no 8. It's actually a 9, right? And then 0, 1, 2, and so on, so on, so on, forever. And of course, if you prefer, you can use the bar notation because as you can see, this is the repeating decimal, right? Therefore, I can write this down as 0 0.01234567, and there's no 8. Be careful, there's no 8. We will actually have a 9 right here, right? We we'll actually just have the 9 after the 7. 8 is not invited <laughs> into this party right here. And we know these are the digits that's repeating, and there's no 8 at all. So we can just put a bar like this. And yeah, all that will add up to 0 0.01234567, 9, and so on, so on, so on, so on. Okay? And remember, this right here, it's the same as the fraction 1 over 81. And of course, you can use your calculator or work from alpha or your iPhone or whatsoever. Do 1 divided by 81. And if you would like, you can also do this by long division. 1 divided by 81, you will see that. There is no 8 at all. So this is extremely cool, right? And, and hopefully you guys like this video. This is one of my favorite questions because right here, as you can see, it seems like there's a pattern, but you really have to do the question carefully and thoroughly, right? There is no 8 at all. 
And before you guys go, be sure you also check out this video right here because similar things happen. What in the world is one, two, three, four, five, and eight?